Hello everybody, my name is Reza Dorani and today we are going to look at conditional triggering in Microsoft Flow. Yes, conditional triggering, this is now available in Microsoft Flow and this will save a lot of flow runs and let's look at one scenario wherein I'm going to demo this today. So I have a list in SharePoint called blog tasks and uh, any blogging that I'm going to do, I'm going to add a task for myself, I'm going to assign that task to me or any other user in my organization. Then I have a yes no field called post wherein I can say whether I want to post this out and then I have a date on which I want to post this. Now I'm going to try and add a trigger on this flow on item added or item updated. So I'm in Microsoft flow and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go to new and I am going to automate my flow. And in this case, the trigger that I'm going to use, I'm going to search for SharePoint and we're going to use when an item is created or modified. So I'm going to use this as the trigger point for my flow. Okay, and I'm going to first thing is I'm going to rename this to post logs. So here's my trigger. Now it's asking me for the SharePoint site. I am going to pick my SharePoint site and the next step, what it is going to do is it's going to ask me for my list, which is block tasks. So I've picked my SharePoint site, I've picked my SharePoint list. The only other option I have is limit columns by view. So where is the setting now to trigger flow on a condition? For that, we would have to go to settings. And right here, as you can see, is trigger conditions where you can specify one or more conditions which must be true for the trigger to fire. So I can add multiple conditions out here, which is great. As you can see, there is no uh, editor for me in terms of uh, in terms of UI that I can play with in order to go ahead and create the conditions. So in this case, what is gonna help me is knowing about expressions in flow. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'm, I just have this flow right now. And what we're going to do is I am just gonna write a simple compose statement in flow. And uh, for my list, I wanna check the yes, no field. And let's say I wanna check the post date. Right. So under dynamic content, I'm going to pick post and I am going to pick post date. I just want to see the values coming through. I'm going to go ahead and save this flow. So now this flow will get triggered when an item is created or modified in SharePoint. Heading back to SharePoint, let's add another one, another item. I'm going to call this Power BI blog, let's assign this to Reza and uh, post it yes and post it today. Just hit save and that's gone ahead and created a new item. So that should trigger the flow for creation of a new item and let's just modify an item as well. So I'm just modifying the second item. This should trigger the flow again because the item got modified. Now with flow, everybody knows that uh, Every time the flow runs, that's counted against the quota for your tenant. So every flow run is uh, is going to be going towards the consumption on your tenant. Now in this case, maybe my scenario is such that I only need my flow to trigger when post is yes. Let's, let's just create this first scenario. Now as you can see, based on the existing trigger, I updated an item, I added an item. If you notice, my flow got triggered two times, so that's two runs gone in my tenant. Let's go through one of the flow runs, and as you can see, when an item is created or modified, I have the value come through as true, and I also have the date that has come in, right? That is the date, post date that I put in. Now let's say if I want to trigger this flow only when this value is true. Now how do we do this? For that, if you look at compose and if you go to peak code, the reason why I'm doing this is I want to copy this. I want to copy the fact that I have trigger body post. You see this trigger body. This is the trigger action, the trigger body attribute, and then as in the function and within then I want the within it I want the attribute called post. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to when an item is created or modified. I'm going to go to settings. Okay. And out here, I'm going to add that condition as a trigger. Now, 
Again, the editor is not that great, but what I could do is I can actually use the expression syntax right here in the compose and build that expression and then just go ahead and paste it in the condition or in the trigger condition on top. So how do I do this? Well, I wanna check if the post, and I can do it by going to expression, going, doing equals, and in this case, it's asking me for the dynamic content. In this case, it's post. Sorry, you gotta search for post. So let's go to post, right? And going back to expression. So this value should be true, right? So if this is true, then I want my flow to get triggered. So that's my condition, right? I have my expression right here. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna go back to my flow. I'm gonna go to settings. I'm gonna add the trigger condition right here and just add an add symbol right in front of it and hit done. Once I'm done with this, I'm gonna click on save. Now what this has done is it's basically gone and changed the trigger condition for my flow. Now if I head back to my flow, now because the condition is when an item is created or modified, so when the item is created or when the item is modified, this flow would have triggered. But now apart from that, it will also check to see if the value of post is true. Only then it will trigger and save me flow runs. It won't run if the value is false. Let's try this out. So let's say I pick the uh, let's let's say I pick flow blog. Okay, this one has the value of post is yes. I'm going to change this to no and hit save. Now the moment I do this, if I head back to the flow, and if I refresh, if you notice the flow did not kick off, and the reason is because the post has been set to no. It will only run when the value of post is yes. So if I go back and if I modify this item and if I hit save, again, I've modified it and I've changed it to yes this time. If I go back to my flow, if everything runs fine, this should trigger my flow. It takes up to a minute normally. So let's wait and see. And in the meanwhile, I'm gonna just go ahead and create another one. I'm gonna call this AI Boulder Blog. And I'm gonna assign this to myself. And I'm gonna say, yep, post it, and here's the post 8, 14. I'm gonna hit save, I'm going to go back to flow. And as you can see, the flow just got triggered. Let's see which one is this. I'm gonna click on this, and this is when a new item is created or updated. And this one is, what's the title on this item? The title on this item is, let's go to compose, this one is, 29th of August, when was the 29th of August? This was the flow blog. This was the one that got triggered wherein I modified the item and we should have another one coming through. There you go. Here's the new one that has come in when I created a new item. So as you can see, it now triggers the flow only on the item being created. So here's the new one, right? AI build a blog. I just created a new item and it got triggered. Why? Because the post flag was set to yes. Now you can add any other conditional logic as you as you would like. You can add you can add different conditions like and and or, and you can mix and match, and you can actually trigger your flows based on any specific condition that you want, which is extremely powerful. And this is not just true for when an item is created or modified trigger. This is true for almost every trigger available in SharePoint and in fact, non-SharePoint triggers as well. I was looking at uh, Outlook a while ago. So let's go to Outlook and let's say when a new email arrives, right? So if you look at this and even for this one, if I go to settings, you see I have the trigger conditions. So the trick here is going to be to use expressions at least initially, so get familiar with expressions. And I think doing uh, the compose action, if you can build your expressions here, that would be great because you can just copy the expressions that you've built, just go back here, paste it, and this will then trigger your flows conditionally. Extremely powerful. You save a lot of flow runs. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.